The goal of long jump is to achieve the highest range or distance by jumping as far as possible. In order to make this happen, a jumper focuses on the four main phases, their run-up, takeoff, flight through air, and landing. First, a long jumper needs to count his or her steps and start at the same position every time to ensure that he or she will not go over the takeoff board. Consistency in running down the platform is important too, because if you run differently from when you counted the steps, it might change the results of your strides. A person must start at least six strides back from the takeoff board to ensure they build enough speed when they jump. Their speed down the runway is important because it affects the initial velocity. Thus, to have a high velocity, a person must jump at a high speed. In this case, the part where a person is running before they take off is called the horizontal velocity. Furthermore, static friction occurs when the jumper runs on the track. His or her spikes are shoes that help maintain the static friction and prevent kinetic friction so that the runner does not slip and fall. Secondly, during the takeoff stage, a jumper must use their takeoff or back leg to form a 45 degree angle for maximum range. To do this, the person shortens their last stride so that their back leg is hitting at the end of the runway at 45 degrees. Some jumpers take off at a smaller angle, but 45 degrees is the most common one in order to produce a greater upward force. Also, the, the velocity that you take off on is the same velocity you have when you land. Additionally, during their flight through the air, the jumper must extend their legs forward before landing so that he or she can gain more distance. Gravity is what pulls the person to the ground in order for them to land. Once the person comes in contact with the sand, the movement of the person's feet sliding on top of the sand, which is also moving, is called kinetic friction. The kinetic friction is what pulls the jumper along the sand to achieve a greater distance. In addition, long jump is a type of inelastic collision because momentum is conserved, but kinetic energy is not. Therefore, some energy is lost due to dents, damages, and or heat. When a long jumper lands into the sand pit, the jumper's landing position is imprinted into the sand and therefore absorbing their energy as they land. Cushioning is also an important factor in long jumps because the longer the time they are in the air, the smaller the force there will be when landing. A long jumper needs to count his or her steps and start at the same position every time to ensure that he or she will not go over the takeoff board. Before the runner begins its run down the runway, the runner has to overcome their state of rest, also known as inertia. The runner stays moving in a straight line when he or she is in the air because the only force that is applied to the runner is on a vertical line, which is gravity. Therefore, it moves forward on the horizontal axis. Newton's third law is also present in the jumper because every step the runner takes, the force he or she places on the ground is reciprocated back onto the jumper.